Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you all my fall thrift finds and I have selected a couple pieces that I actually got at work. There, it's, te it's technically consignment, not thrift. Um, if you don't know, the main difference between thrift and consignment is people just dump their stuff at the thrift store or any like donation place and they just get rid of their clothes and the thrift store collects them, goes through them, and sells them for super cheap. Consignment stores, people come in to make a profit, um, that's why it's a little bit more expensive, and it's better quality um, and just less worn out, and it's easier to shop through because things are already picked out for you and they're in good condition. So those are the main differences, and consignment shops, people get paid out once their item sells. So if you're a little bit confused versus thrift and consignment, well, there you go. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the items that I got from the thrift store. This is one of my favorite thrift store This is one of my favorite thrift thrift store trips of all time um, cuz I feel like I just got really good deals. And I'll start off with the accessories. And I got this chainmail belt that I'm obsessed with. I'm still trying to figure out how I can adjust this because it is a little bit too big. So when I wore it, I sewed like well, I wove a piece of thread through and I just had it like folded up like this. But I kind of really want to figure out how I can actually repair this and make it so it can fit me. Um, but that is like a project for the very, very far away future. Next, I have suspenders. <laughs> I haven't had suspenders in ages. I think last time I had suspenders was like in seventh grade. And um, this one's got a really, really cool paisley print with it and I'm obsessed and I really like the silver like hardware and stuff so I'm just gonna wear it with like my jeans or something but good find three dollars so what's the belt this was one of my favorite finds ever at the thrift store I was walking down the aisle and I was like da 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 let's look for some black pants and then I saw this knit and I was like is that St. John? that's St. John and I was right lo and behold it was St. John. And if you don't know what St. John is, it's very, very, very expensive knitwear. And they do a lot of basics and lots of knits. This is their, this is why I was able to point it out because their knit is very unique. These pants retail for like $400, $500. And actually this is St. John Basics, so it might be a little bit less expensive. They have different lines that, you know, different levels of price range and I think this St. John Basics might be the cheapest one but I could still probably sell this for $150 and I got this for $3.99 can you believe that I can't believe it myself I know I was like oh this was meant to be for me and it fits so I might wear it for a little bit and then sell it who knows but they're high-waisted pantalones that look like oh this a lot of their stuff is really old school and of course fashion comes full circle so it works for now and probably forever because a lot of their things are just timeless pieces that people just keep, keep in their lives forever and never and never. That's why they're so expensive and they last forever and never and never. Next pair of pants, I got these mom jeans and these were actually brand new. Like it had tags and everything but they're really old. It's the Liz Calvert no, Liz Claiborne high-waisted jeans. We call these mom jeans these days and they're a little dirty because I wore the hell out of them but they're super high-waisted. It's a great fit and it's also a lot skinnier than most mom jeans that I find um, at the thrift store. Next pair I got a pair of crushed velvet pants and they're green. I mean come on, they're green. These are a size medium and a vintage medium is pretty much a small because back in the day people were like these big. They are so comfortable. I'm telling you like velvet like sweatpants like this is just the perfect lazy day pant because it looks like you're trying but you literally feel like you're in pajamas. It's the greatest thing in the world. And the next thing I got is this t-shirt. Perfect just in time for when I wore it. Um, I wore it on Friday the 13th and I found it very fitting. It has a creepy ass clown on it. <laughs> and I wore it with these pants and the chainmail belt, actually. Um, if you want to see how I styled it, I will post a picture over here. 
And if you want to show some love on Instagram, my link is down below. The next thing I got from the thrift store, and I think this is the last, yep, last thing I got from the thrift store is this denim jacket and I've never seen a denim jacket this color before and I really like the raw like hem around it or the raw trim um, and it fits like comfortably baggy and tastefully baggy you know a lot of denim jackets that I have I buy oversized because I just like oversized denim jackets and this one is like it fits me but it's meant to be Oversized. It's like when you buy an oversized sweater at Forever 21. It's a small, but like, they label it as small, but it's big. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Never mind. <laughs> Just forget that. But can you guys see how this kind of fits me? Yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. It's very effortless and just comfortable. And then the next three things that I'm going to show you guys... I've actually found at my job, which is a consignment store, I get all my clothes there, so there's definitely more that should be added to the pile. But I'm just going to highlight my favorite pieces. And the first one is this coat. I love this coat. I like anything with a collar. I love the length of it. It hits me right at my knees. And um, the collar is amazing. I love it. And it's wool and cashmere blend. And I think it's pretty old J. Crew. It's made in the Philippines. It's 90% wool and 10% cashmere. And it's from holiday 2008. It's 10 years old. It's still, it's such a timeless cut that it worked in 2008 and it's going to work in 2018. You know? And then next thing is the one and only American Apparel Disco Pants. And they don't sell these anymore, um, although I was told by a woman that used to work for the founder of American Apparel. Apparently he's cuckoo, is what she said, but he was a pleasure to work with. Apparently he started a new line, which he is bringing these back, the signature disco pants from American Apparel. They're like surprisingly comfortable, because they don't look like they're comfortable at all, in any way, shape, or form. Too tight. You can't move, you can't breathe, you can't eat when you're wearing them. But they actually are quite stretchy. Like, they're really comfortable. It may seem like you can't move in them, but the fabric is amazing. And I feel like I'll probably live in these in the fall. And then my last, but most definitely not least, this backpack that I got a couple days ago. <sighs> I've been looking for a leather backpack for ages, probably over a year now, and I just couldn't get myself to like purchase one because the range, I mean the average is probably like $300 for a leather backpack, a good one, and a perfect size that will fit all my school stuff in it, and here you go. I found one! <laughs> it's like it was meant for me, it came right after my birthday. And I had a gift card to the store, and I had store credit, so of course I bought this. <laughs> what? It's the it's Rebecca Minkoff. I will look up the specific style, and I'll link it down below if you'd like to purchase it. It fits my 13-inch Mac. Whoa! Ugh. Ow, I just bent my finger back. <laughs> it fits my 13-inch MacBook. I will do a review on that backpack. At the end of the month, I just want to be able to use it a lot more and get some more one-on-one -on -one time with it before I film a review. But that is it. That is the roundup of my October thrift slash consignment finds. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please share it. Let me know if you have any recommendations of thrift stores for me to hit up. I definitely want to try different places. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!